Und deshalb sind ja jeder für alles äh, zuständig, gleichermaßen für die Entscheidung über Sanktionen. Das äh, hat den Herrn I think we're looking at the end of an era, the end of the end of the Cold War, the past uh, 25 years, uh, and we have to basically uh, react to it. I think the way in which the European Union has worked is correct. We have stayed unified uh, on sanctions. Um, I would also hate to think of a situation whereby the Baltic states or Central and Eastern European countries were not members of NATO or uh, the European Union. At the end of the day, we will be in this conflict for the long haul. Uh, we need to be patient. We need to try to find a solution. To give you an answer to your exact question, will this have ramifications on smaller states in the neighborhood? I would say that anything that happens in Europe on the borders of Europe has ramifications. But at this stage, destabilization seems to continue in one particular region, namely the six frozen conflicts that we see uh, in Moldova uh, around Ukraine uh, and Georgia. So in that sense, we just have to be patient and continue to work not against Russia, but with Russia. And at the end of the day, we shall find a solution. Well, Madam Chancellor, everyone have a very good day.